That big announcement we first heard this morning, the 2034 Winter Olympic Games and Paralympic Games are coming to Salt Lake City. As you can imagine, it's big news here for the Beehive State as athletes and tourists from all around the world will come to see one of America's most geographically diverse states. A warming climate and high construction costs have shied away many cities from hosting the Olympic Games. Salt Lake instead capitalized on some of that waning interest, showing that we we already have much of the infrastructure needed to host the events. Well, Salt Lake will host the 2034 Winter Olympics, but what should have been a simple vote in Paris today brought tension and some last minute changes. ABC 4's Kate Gardner has the, de the details for us. Salt Lake City has essentially been a shoe in to host the games for months now, but in a turn of events, the International Olympic Committee threw one more requirement at Utah just moments before the final vote. The state now has to convince federal agents to halt their investigation into athlete doping. The iconic rings at Olympic Cauldron Plaza in Salt Lake City seem to gleam a little brighter after a decision made in Paris. The 27th Olympic Winter Games 2034 are awarded to Salt Lake City, Utah. But this celebration didn't come without a last minute surprise. These recent developments in the United States and the, and the World Anti-Doping Agency are quite worrying. The IOC is mad with the U.S. because it is investigating Chinese athletes who were allowed to compete in Tokyo and suspected of doping. We respect and support WADA as a supreme authority in the global fight against doping. Even after an investigation by the World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA. It was a case of no-fault environmental contamination and the low levels of TMZ present could have given no performance enhancement to the athletes concerned. Under an amended agreement, Utah leaders now need to lobby federal authorities to drop their investigations or risk losing the games. We need to bridge the gap and bring everybody together. Utah leaders reassuring the International Olympic Committee to do just that. We will use all the levers of power open to us to resolve these concerns. Their promises garnering a vote of 83 to 6 in favor of Salt Lake. as a host city. While speaking to the committee, Governor Cox promised that he and other state leaders would work with the current president as well as whichever administration comes next. Reporting from Olympic Cauldron Plaza in Salt Lake City, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.